Daniel Petrie was a disturbed young man. In 2007, the 16-year-old Brazilian resident of Santa Catarina spent most of his time playing a virtual online role-playing game, including the game Tibia. He had an online addiction and reacted abruptly and aggressively with violence at the slightest provocation. He underwent psychiatric analysis and treatment, but always abandoned the therapy sessions. He left school and then retreated to the internet instead. Whilst online, he played with a softly spoken neighbour and virtual friend by the name of Gabrielle Korn, who was only 12 years of age. Gabrielle grew up in a stable environment. He was a dedicated student and was polite and friendly to everyone he met. Despite the four-year age gap, they often talked and acted like friends. Gabrielle's parents felt uncomfortable with him associating with the troubled and rebellious teen, and with good reason. At some point during the game, Daniel lent Gabrielle some in-game currency. This was not real money, but 20,000 tibia funds. Daniel made a claim on the funds that Gabrielle had promised to pay back, but instead, Gabrielle decided to ban him from his contacts. Daniel became furious and totally flipped out. He felt cheated and now he was blocked, so he took matters into his own hands. On the 27th of July 2007, he made his way to Gabrielle's house, who was home alone, and confronted him. He rang the bell and Gabrielle agreed to let him in. Daniel immediately knocked him to the ground and started beating him brutally. He dragged Gabrielle to his bedroom, where he raped him. As he cried and screamed, he threatened to tell his parents. Daniel wanted none of that and decided right there and then that he was going to die. An enraged Daniel continued abusing him, causing blood to splatter all over his bed sheets. He then grabbed a cable, wrapped it around his neck, and started squeezing the life out of him until he passed out. Daniel then decided to dispose of the supposed corpse in an overhead open hatch that led to an attic located in the hall. He attempted to lift the body above his shoulders, but realised that he weighed too much. He decided to go to the garage of the house and returned with a hacksaw. Daniel started sawing the boy's left leg. After doing so, Gabrielle regained consciousness and screamed in horror and with intense pain. Not content to stop, Daniel took pleasure in his cruelty and proceeded to saw off his right leg. Eventually, Gabrielle stopped screaming and fell into shock from the blood loss. Daniel retried to hoist the body into the trapdoor, hoping this time he could conceal the body but realised he still couldn't do it. He left the mutilated body in the corner of the room, beneath the open hatch. He fled the horror scene for his distraught family to discover upon their return. Daniel was arrested and charged with Gabrielle's murder and was imprisoned for three years in a juvenile delinquency centre for his crime. The imprisoned Daniel swore to take revenge on Gabrielle again when he found him in hell. <laughs> 